This motion may be well intentioned, but it fails to grapple with the harsh realities of Ireland's energy landscape and the potential economic fallout of its proposed policies. In the real world, Ireland, like many other countries, is heavily reliant on fossil fuels, with about 88% of all our energy in, 20, uh, in 2023 coming from these sources. A sudden shift away from fossil fuels could have significant economic repercussions. Firstly, the agriculture sector, a cornerstone of Ireland's e economy, is heavily dependent on fossil fuels for machinery, transportation, and production processes. A rapid transition could disrupt the sector, leading to economic instability and potential job losses. Uh, fossil fuels are currently the lifeblood of Ireland's energy sector, powering 88% of our vehicles, homes and industries. A sudden divestment from fossil fuels, as proposed, could plunge the country into an energy crisis with severe repercussions for every facet um, of our daily lives, from transportation to heating our homes. Furthermore, uh, the wording uh, in the, in the PB uh, in the motion day attacks on the agri business overlooks the sector's vital role in Ireland's economy and the livelihoods of thousands of farmers. While it's, it's true that agri business can be a source of greenhouse gas emissions, it is also a sector that's ripe for innovation and sustainable practices. Painting it as a villain does a disservice to the many farmers who are striving to make their operations more environmentally friendly. Uh, this motion proposals seem to be rooted more in idealism uh, than in practicality. Uh, the reality is that Ireland's planning system is mirrored uh, in gridlock and it could take decades before renewable energy sources become a viable alternative to fossil fuels. Uh, the, the motion's failure to acknowledge this reality raises questions about the feasibility of its proposals. And what are the alternatives? We have no alternative. And that's the problem we have here. We have a whole lot of dreamers inside this stall. And I'd love to come in here and say we'd all should buy, have a Jagger and go on home with it. There is no alternative at this, uh, at, at this stage for farmers who want, to, who want to put produce on our table. And there's no point in Deputy Pringle smiling and laughing over there. Let him go back to Donegal and tell the fishermen, go out on a battery boat. Or tell the farmer, go out, go out and till, till his land with a, with a battery. You'll smile in and you'll see when they'll bang the door yeah, and let you know where you stand and, and drive lorries to bring food to the, to the tables of this country. Wake up to reality. Thank You're you. miles away from it right now. Thank you.